Hello, everybody. Mike here at Game From Scratch. And back in January, Godot 3.0 was released. A huge improvement, lots of new features and functionality, etc. But we've been slowly working towards the 3.1 release since then. And there are a ton of new features and functions in 3.1 upcoming, and we are one step closer to its release. Namely, we are now at the alpha phase. Now, there is no alpha download available yet, but what this basically means is developers can no longer do pull requests for new features or functions. At this point on, it is entirely entirely all about improvements, bug fixes, um, performance improvements, that kind of stuff. No new features unless they fit one of these exceptions. Now, this first exception I don't like. Basically, they're saying if it's an enhancement with minimal impact, we'll keep adding it. No, you should basically freeze, add in the new functionality, move that stuff into 3.2. That's where feature creep comes in. Get this out of here, in my humble opinion. On top of that, they're still working a little bit on Mono and C-Sharp support for 3.1. So if there's a 3.1 improvement for Mono or C-Sharp support, it could still potentially be added. But for the most part, we are frozen down. So at this point in time, all of the development on the 3.1 branch will be all about improvements in stability, performance, that kind of stuff. No new features and functions. Now that sounds at first kind of disappointing, but trust me, it really isn't. So we head on over to the Reddit page. Um, I think this is, oh, this is the Game Dev Reddit, not the Godot Reddit. But you can see here kind of a better uh, description of what's coming, a nicely summarized version of the major new features. And we'll go through the highlights right here. So you can go into the full change logs. It, it's kind of full of minutia, so we're not going to go that low. But you see here we've got a lot of high-level features being added here. New soft body support. Um, soft body is a way of doing things like uh, cloth support or, you know, belly jiggling. Um, that would be soft body. Uh, skeletal inverse kinematics is a way of animating things. Uh, GLES2 is being added back in. This is, I think, maybe a maybe feature. Uh, it's definitely in there now. So if you fire up Godot as it stands right now, you'll notice right up here there is uh, a toggle between ES2 and ES3. Um, so there's a lot of people that basically got left behind on the Godot 2.x branch because that... Um, that version is only supported on certain hardware. So, for example, if you were using an Intel HD 4000, like in the old MacBook Air, I don't think you can use the newest version. So there are definitely some people waiting on GLES 2 support to be added back in. And that should be part of 3.1. While we're here, you'll also notice there are some new um, changes to the interface. They're actually quite extensive, and I've actually already done a video on it. So I won't go into that. But there are a lot of nice little usability changes being added into this interface as well. Uh, there's a new animation editor. There's also new 3D animation stuff. Um, so definitely some nice improvements there. There's new inspector. That's part of the um, the engine improvements I was just talking about there. There's uh, ragdoll physics support, 2D skeletal deformation, CSG or constructed solids geometry. I think that one stands for. Basically, it's a way of kind of using uber booleans inside of boolean. Uh, the Godot engine itself for creating levels and models. And there's a new access handling system. So I've actually done videos on a lot of these things. If we head on over here, I've got a UI one. I've got one on CSG and Godot. I've got one on the animation improvements, both 2D and 3D. And also TypeScript is coming to Godot. So basically, if you want optional typing, it is now an option. So it's a really cool release of stuff coming up. And I'm actually quite excited to see that it comes. I don't know about you guys if you've been looking forward to this. If you are, I'll throw all of those links down below, of course, if you want to check out the videos on each individual feature. But this release is pretty big deal. So hopefully the alpha goes well. Uh, if you're interested in grabbing it, there are nightly builds available if you don't want to build things yourself uh, but as it stands right now there are no official binaries so you're going to have to build it yourself or grab it from one of those nightly build sites all right that's it for now i will talk to you all later goodbye